New here at three, two American war heroes brought together by fate have been there for one another for the past seven years. Now one of them is fighting for his life and looking for the community for help. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us why this bond is too tight to be broken. Tim Reed and his dog Shadow both served in Afghanistan for the U.S. Marine Corps back in 2010, but they didn't cross paths until five years later. Stepped on an IED. My Marines were like, don't close your eyes. Do not fall asleep. That was death just knocking on the door. The Purple Heart recipient was severely injured, resulting in the amputation of his left leg. Tim wound up in San Diego, where he experienced the darkest period of his life. Turned to drugs and alcohol and it, uh, it, it really messed up my mind. But little did Tim know, Shadow, who served as a bomb sniffing dog, was also in San Diego, being kept in a military kennel after her handler had passed away. It was about to become the perfect match. They let her out of the cage um, about 100 yards away and she just straight to me, man. And she was just happy to see me. She, you know, she, she knows Marines and the way we, we carry our, ourselves. Tim and Shadow both retired and moved to Tampa in 2015. They've been playing in the backyard together ever since. The greatest gift of all is our is our is our our bond, our combat bond that Shadow and I have. But now, after years of protecting our troops, it's Tim's turn to protect Shadow. She's battling a number of undiagnosed health issues, and the vet bills have piled up to over five thousand dollars and counting. There's there's not much government funding for dogs that retire. So Tim and his wife set up a GoFundMe account, asking the community to help save this war hero's life. They've already surpassed $3,000. I think we owe it to Shadow to, um, to have a good retirement where she could breathe easy, um, love deep, and, and uh, you know just be a normal dog. For more information on Tim and Shadow, go to abcactionnews.com. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.